What's up everyone? I'm Mike Ruthless. The last Transformers Prime review, for the moment at least, is uh, Beast Hunter's Shockwave. And uh, first off, hold on a second, hold on. Let me get this crap off me. Alright. Shockwave doesn't need all... What is this? Bones that he kills somebody? You go fishing? Is that what he uses? Are those like lures he throws in? Shocker doesn't need all that extra crap on there, and uh, it makes him look stupid, to, you know. Cool figure already, you don't need it. He, look, he, he looks good without it, you know. One of the uh, better Transformer fi Prime figures out there, and uh, fits in with the, the with the generations as well, because of the, you know, because, you know, the, the color scheme is great, it looks like them. You know, you got this uh, twirling motion here, and now uh, hold on a second, let me just open it up, you get that little beam in there and I uh, will stay open probably not hold on no but there you go you got, you got an idea and it just pulls around it opens up but uh one of the uh, better figures you know simple transformation but uh as far as looking like shocker that's definitely shockwave they, they got they got it right on this one you know and you got the tank tread in the back there to make it look like the the cord and uh real nice figure one of the best ones and uh, you know what we gotta do. I try to get the, the uh, extreme close up. No, regular close up. We got that translucent red plastic. You got purple, then you got like a lighter purple. You got the red, the red eye. You know, you got a Autobot symbol. No, not Autobot. That's Subticon symbol, which I added on. Because actually, he has no markings on him, even in uh, his vehicle tank mode. So, uh, but great figure. You know, and uh. The San Diego Comic Con version is even better. There, there's a the back real quick. Uh, good details, you know. There's the, uh, some, you know, all the markings there. CE, the copyright. Got wheels on his feet. Turn them around again. And uh, he stands pretty well. Make him look, make him look this way. There you go. Uh, and for for a Voyager, a little bit taller than the, some of the other figures, and, and real good as a Voyager too. Uh, I like this figure. This figure I definitely recommend. You know, I, I always liked Shockwave. I'm glad they got the trademark back for his name. And I'm glad he's, he's back for good. Uh, not so happy about the Legend Shockwave we got for Bruticus, but it makes sense because they use it for Combined Awards. But if we get a brand new one, maybe in the, not in this line, because no one wants to see a Headmaster Shockwave. But if we get a new Shockwave coming up, made for Generations, definitely down with it. But this is a good substitute. And uh, this is one of the better Shockwave figures we've gotten in a while since, I guess. Shock Blast for Energon was okay. Uh, no, actually the Shockwave uh, Alternator, shock, bla uh, shock Blast. Yeah, Shock Blast, Shockwave, Laser Blast, Blaze Wave, no, Shockwave. I'm always calling them Shockwave, I don't care. So, uh, and the movie Shockwave actually wasn't too bad, you know. This is actually more uh, detail on this one, though. But, uh, yeah, um, Transformers... Prime Beast Hunters Shockwave, great figure. Uh, definitely recommend this guy. I love him. It's great, and he's easy, real sturdy too. Real, uh, just looks good, and he fits in perfect with the generations. So he could either be in, he could be in either a uh, line, either a uh, collection. So and uh, stands pretty well. Sometimes depends on how his legs are angled. I guess you could call it. It's like it's a real tricky. They move around when he transforms and stuff. But uh, he stands pretty well on a flat surface, so he's not too bad. Um, other than that, the scale of one to ten, I'll give this guy a nine. Uh, ten because they didn't give an auto or they didn't give him a on somebody to put it on there. But uh, and they could have given him a better uh, tank mode too. But it went. That's the thing. Like, simple mode, simple transformation, but great figure. So that you don't have to have a super Cool transformation. I mean, look at the first edition prime. Great transformation. Just that br that cr crappy brown just killed it. Anyway, here's a Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Shockwave. Now let's get him into his uh, shock mode, shock tank mode, uh, tank shock mode. I don't know. Let's get him into his tank mode. All right, so there's Shockwave in his uh, shock cannon mode or shock tank mode, and uh, you know, pretty basic. Transformation, you know, not not the greatest, not that are in, intricate, I guess you could say, but uh, it's still shockwave. It still looks pretty good. Uh, like I said, they could have 
they haven't given Shotgun too many good uh, transformers over the years. You know, even the Shock Blast for Energon wasn't that great. Uh, the movie version wasn't bad. It was okay. Could have been better. Uh, this one, uh, like I said, the highlight of this is the robot mode. But it still works. It's still a futuristic tank. Um, like I said, hopefully get a nice Voyager or even a leader class Shockwave. Just like the old school one. And uh, aside from the Masterpiece and the Alternator one, those were the best form. You know, of course, the Masterpiece was the best one. You know, but, um, yeah, it's not bad, though. I do like it. I, I definitely recommend it. And uh, you don't have to keep them in this form. The best thing with Shaka with this guy is uh, keep him in the robot mode, and that's it. And uh, I'm not gonna put this crap on him because it, it fits, but it doesn't need to fit. Looks better like this. But uh, if you guys don't have this guy, definitely go pick him up. I like him a lot. Very cool figure. Um, just uh, it, it fit for Beast Hunters. It definitely did. Uh, he was an interesting character. He, he helped with the Predacons. He helped develop the Predacon and all that stuff. And like I said, the San Diego Comic Con version has a little Predacon lab. And uh, anyway, that's this is going to wrap up the uh, Transformers uh, Prime reviews for a while, at least for a little bit. I'm going to go back to Generations and some other ones I haven't done yet. Lots of Generations. I haven't even done Sandstorm or Springer or uh, who else? A few other ones I haven't done. Not too many. Uh, Roadbuster 2. Uh, there's some I won't do because uh, just some figures that like you know not the greatest figures and they're not fun to transform so but uh, you know how it is usually if I get figures if I get new stuff I'll throw it in there once in a while um, just like I threw in that Combiner Wars Megatron but uh, definitely get a whenever I get some interesting stuff I'm just gonna throw it all in there so the Transformers Prime I just knew I had a lot I just want to get them out there but uh, good way to wrap it up is here with uh, Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Shockwave so. Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, more is coming soon. Don't forget to watch uh, Art Former on Fridays. Um, see you guys at uh, what's the next show? NJCC in November. And uh, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment. Uh, write down what you want to see. If if I have a figure, I'll review it. Or I'll try to review it. I'll get a, I'll get it and review it. And remember, it's not always Transformers. I'll, I'll throw in some video game characters and other collectibles. Uh, might have to do that Knight Rider car kit review him. So, all right, guys, I'm Mike Ruthless. I'm out. Thanks for watching.